Hey, I'm Johnny Scoble, and this is Chase the Heat. Uh, you know what? I got sick of playing around with that GoPro. Such a problem. Uh, eight hours to upload three videos. Just don't have that kind of time. So I'm investigating uh, some options, maybe changing the settings on the GoPro, but until I get that ironed out, and I'm sorry for that the shadows are wreaking havoc, but here we are. Now, I'm eating a really hot pepper today. Look at this. This is the Fatale Jigsaw. All right, beautiful pepper. Now this is grown by Randy Keaton. Let me give you a little bit of information about the Jigsaw. I hate that this table does that. It drives me crazy. Got to fix it when the leg is off. Sorry. All right, so listen. This beast has grown as large as four ounces. So that's a huge pod. Makes it the largest and the heftiest of all the super huts. It has been described by Hot Pepper YouTube reviewers as the gourmet super hot with a unique flavor. I wonder if I qualify for that. I guess I do. I'm a YouTube reviewer. I'm more of an entertainer. Just use peppers. I'm an entertainer, you know what I mean? But anyway, it has a gradual, the heat has a gradual and consistent build to it. The Jigsaw has been rumored to be the hottest pepper in the world. So, um, and you know how it works, you guys. The, the, the uh, Carolina Reaper is just the hottest one recognized now. I've eaten hotter peppers this week. And it's Monday. Kind of how it works. So this right here, um, the heat units on this are somewhere between 1,500,000 Scoville heat units to 2.2 million. So this is as hot, um, and this is no joke, it is, this, this pepper is as hot as any pepper you're going to get your hands on. Just shooting you straight. Sorry about the, the you know, it's really funny now that I'm looking. See, when I do the uh, GoPro, I, I can't see myself. With this camera, it's got a little camera thing that I can see myself. So I can see that the shadows suck right now. So I'm sorry about that. Um, all right, so let's try. Uh, here we go. This pod weighs 12 grams. So this is a, let me pull the pin off of this grenade. See this dude right here? Uh, you will be able to see him right behind me. You're going to see a red truck in about two seconds. Right there. That dude drives like Juan Fangio through my neighborhood. One of these days, I need to keep it like like fruit or something. So when they drive by, they're going too fast, I can fire a, a thing of fruit at them. I know you think that sounds crazy, but... You ought to respect the neighborhoods. Anyway, what a pretty color. What a pretty beautiful pepper this is. Hefty. No aroma on the outside, so let's cut this bad boy open. Crazy liquid, on, or I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't. I'm wasting my time trying to show you this, but boy, I'll tell you what. Now, I see one funky black seed right there at the tip, right here. I'm going to remove that. You see that? That seed was nasty and kind of black. And... I'll be careful and clean my knife off before I shut it because a pepper seed jammed up the mighty Ultratech Microtech. Excuse me, Microtech Ultratech. Isn't that funny? I think that letter, that, I don't know if you guys saw that, if you're new to the channel. Um, this, this uh, I have a couple different knives I used on pods. This is one of them and Crazy uh, knife, super reliable, known for its reliability. $300 for this teeny little knife. And uh, it jammed one day. I was doing a video. It was really funny. I, could, I wish I could find it. I couldn't. It would take forever. 780 videos. But I went like this. I just cut a pepper up and I went... And you hear how it clicks shut? It didn't. It shut to about there. And that's what happened. I saw this little teeny... I was like, wait a minute. That's not normal. And yeah, I sent it to Microtech and they said, 
Johnny, listen, you know, we found what the problem was. It appar apparently it was a pepper seed. I'm being honest with you. It was a really cool. I still have the letter. It's pretty funny. All right, so let's talk about this pepper. It smells uh, just ferociously hot. If you look at the, uh, I don't know if you can tell, the inside is glistening from all the oils on it. All right, now. Last year, season two, we are in currently in, in Chase Heat season three. Last year, season two, <coughs> excuse me, um, of all the peppers I ate all last year, one of the hottest, and I kid you not, was this pepper. It is just like twisted kind of heat. Not making that up either. So hopefully this will be just, in fact, if I remember correctly, I got an endorphin rush from one pepper. Now, we're towards the end of the pod season right now in season three. Wrapping up season two, but really we're in season three. And a lot of the peppers that I eat are stressed out because it's towards the end of the season. And it's a funny thing that some people say that stressing peppers out doesn't make them hotter. Eat, the, uh, eat peppers like I do and you'll say, yeah, you know, and the, the peppers at the end of the season are hotter. It's just the way it is. So I don't care what anyone says, it is. So these are, this should be a really hot pepper. I'm gonna munch it down right now. I'm Johnny Scoville, you people, my family friends. Guess what? This is Chase the Heat, and this is the Fatality Jigsaw. Wicked hot right away. Sorry. Oh. Man, I'm just saying that's as hot as any Reaper I've ever eaten. <clears throat> Not much floral in that. Slightly floral. But there's a good bit of bitterness. Which I'm okay with. The, the flame... Uh, Here's the thing: is some pods you eat, uh, some pods, some pods you, you you'll chew up, and uh, the build is really slow to ramp up, so kind of so like ghost peppers are like that. They start slow, and do, and this says in the video in the uh, information about this that it ramps up slowly and steadily. Uh, I'm telling you, this is as hot as any reaper. It has a violent burn. Here's the thing, it's a steady burn like this, but it's a violent burn. It's hotter than most peppers I eat. I mean, it really is. It's good pepper. Um, the heat and, and, you know, the bitterness and the, the bitterness and the negative kind of floral notes, subtle as they were, disappeared the quickest. Uh, so right now, <coughs> heat. My scale is like a three. Solid three. Easy. Three. That's not going to go to a four. But it's attacking my tongue. Not my throat so much. Not so much here or here, but right in here. It's my tongue. <sighs> Sorry. Uh... peaked already so it's on the back side but it definitely got to a solid three for me and you guys if you're new to this you're like well three is not very hot um i have just an unusual i don't know if it's an unusual tolerance to capsaicin i guess in a better uh way to look at it is i have a unique tolerance for pain I think that's what it is. I have a unique tolerance for pain, and I can tolerate it better than a lot of folks can. Um, recently watched a movie, not recently, but uh, fairly recently, a month ago, two months ago, going to the Manila. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, it was a 16-hour flight or so, so I watched this, this, a couple of movies. 
But this one movie, it was a remake of an older movie. I'm not going to say which one it is, but it was a really cool movie. And she said, at one point, this the one of the stars, a woman says, you like pain, she says to the lead character. And he goes, I do. He goes, pain lets me know that it was real. You know what I mean? It wasn't just a... If, if all the experience, negative experiences you had were just mental, they'd just be a thought. You know what I mean? But when you have an experience that... It's tangible. You know what I mean? Like, I broke my leg when I was a kid. If it was just a memory and it didn't really happen, it was just a memory, it wouldn't serve as a cautionary tale to be careful moving forward. But when I heard it snap and it broke, that was real. That pain was real. And that pain let me know that what I was experiencing was genuine and real. And I guess I can, to a degree, man, this may be kind of a weird thing. I hope you guys can come to grips with it, but I think I like pain. Certain kinds of pain. You know what I, pain I don't like? Emotional pain. Pain that hurts you here. I can, I'd can. i rather see a bone stick out and see blood spurt across the room out of my body than to, to feel deep down emotional pain. But that's the human experience. You know what I mean? We all feel it in our lives. <clears throat> so I like, the, I like pain. At least certain types of pain because it lets me know that what I'm dealing with is legit. Kind of like scars, you know what I mean? Scars. I got a, oh, I got a, I got a great scar right there. I don't know if you can't see it right now. But that scar exists for a reason. Every time I shave, I see that. And I thought of it, if you could have, if, if I had a penny, for every time I shaved, saw that scar in my eyebrow and thought about that day. But that scar let me know that it was real. Do you know what I mean? Scar, that's what scars and pain does to you. So I think that, I think there's some, there's a common thread for a lot of us that, that eat hot foods and, like, we welcome that pain. It's kind of a weird thing. It's weird. It's strange. I've existed with back pain for a lot of years. I've had back pain for probably 15 years. And back pain is one of those weird pains that I can't really get used to. Like, I welcome pepper pain. I kind of look forward to it. Can't say that about uh, back pain. It's the center of your being. When your back hurts, nothing is right. You know what I mean? But uh, when your mouth hurts because you've eaten something hot, everything is right. Anyhow. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. It's a beautiful day here. You know it's going to be in the 70s all day, so I'm going to shoot a lot of videos this week. And I'm going to go back to my old camera. This is my Sony I'm using. I'm sorry. You know, the uh, GoPro is pretty cool, but, I, you know... Desiree works for the channel. She's been a friend of mine since I was... Before I had a driver's license, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I, it, it would be her full-time job just uploading videos that I make, and I can't do that to her. And I really don't want to do that to me or her, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the Sony, and we're going to use this Sony camera for a while. I'll figure out the GoPro, or I'll just buy a different one. But I'll make sure we get the greatest quality videos for you guys. But thank you for hanging out with me. In the description box below, you're going to see a link for Randy Keaton. He grows literally legit some of the hottest peppers I've ever eaten in my life. Um, a phenomenal variety. Um, a great family guy. He's, a, he's got a good heart. He's got a good soul. So you guys, go to the comment section or the description box. Click the link for Randy Keaton. Um, man, you'll be glad you know him. He's a good person. My lips are burning. The inside of my lips are burning. It's a later effect. It wasn't burning initially. Now the creep is, is like... The fire is moving forward instead of backwards. It's kind of weird. My lips are on fire. Um, so thank you, Randy. Click the link for Randy below. Um, right here you'll see the pepper. That is the Chase the Heat floating pepper. Click it. When you do that, you're part of my family, and I am a part of yours. That's how it works. It's kind of a cool thing. And then I'm not doing this alone. I'm doing it with you. Be a part of this channel. There are a lot of channels on YouTube. Millions of them. Millions and millions and millions. This is more interactive because this this is one of those cool channels that the dude that has the channel knows that the only reason he has the channel is because of you. I don't exist, and this channel is academic. It's without you guys. So thank you. Um, if you don't want to miss a video, click the bell for notification when you click on that pepper, and we will do just that, notify you when we upload new ones. I'm Johnny Scoble. Thanks for hanging out with me.